Today we are going to use our AccuQuilt cutting machine for the kitty cat die and as you can see from this block, it's right behind me, that is what we are going to be working on today. We are going to cut some kittens. This is for the AccuQuilt um, fabric cutting die machine and this is the kitten die. It is super cute. All the parts are included and um, super simple to make. The first thing I did was to prepare my fabric. I used a lightweight fusible and I've already got it ironed on to the back side of my fabric pieces. So I have my dark fabrics for the eyes. I have the white for the eye as well. I've got the kitty cat colors and um, the color for their ears and nose. After you have everything pressed to the fusible, you are ready to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is just take our pieces and lay them. Um, it doesn't matter if this is right sides up or right sides down, but we're gonna lay them down in position on the mat. Now I've used this piece before, but I've got plenty of space on this other side to do another cut. So I'm just gonna lay that on top. I need two eye pieces. So I folded my piece that was fusible in half. I'm gonna stick it over my eye. Now I need pink for my ears and my nose. So I'm just going to trim this and I need two pieces. So I'm just gonna lay these in their position as well. You just wanna make sure that all of the pieces you place are past the lines that the cutter um, is going to cut. Where these two colors meet is where the blade comes up. So I'm going to place my kitty cat body fabric right on top. and we are ready to go. So the next thing you're going to do is place this on the machine, make sure there's a nice gap on the edges so it doesn't go in crooked, and then place your cutting mat right on top. Gonna take a peek underneath, make sure nothing got shifted. I'm gonna scoot this into that, I'm just kind of shove it in there until it stops. Grab my handle, and while I'm pushing this mat into the machine until this, the machine grabs it. Now I can just hold the top so it doesn't jump around. Continue turning the handle and we are at the end. I'm gonna slide this out. This is the Go Me machine. So this one fits this die perfectly. If you have the larger machine, it works for that as well. So now we can go ahead and remove our cutting mat. Sometimes things stop, stick to the top, some things stick to the bottom, it's not a big deal. So now I've got all of my pieces cut. Super cute! I've got my noses and my ears. So this is an extra nose. I'm just gonna set it aside. But here's my second ear. Here's my two eyes. This is like the color of their eyes. And then I have their outer white for the eyes. Now that I have all my pieces cut, I can place it on the quilt block. All right, I've got my block laid down. I'm going to remove the paper backing on my fused pieces, and I'm gonna just start layering this together.
Now that we have this all set in place, we can take this over to your ironing board and give it a good press. When you press this, you just want to press straight down. You don't want to shift your iron because that may um, shift your pieces, giving you a bit of grief. I'm just going to press this really quick on my mat. I don't suggest doing your wool mat on top of your cutting mat. It will warp it when it gets too hot, but just for a quick press to show you, I think we will be okay. So I'm just going to press really hard, get this to stay in its place. When I, I press again, I'm going to move it, lift it up, and then I'm going to let it cool. Oh my gosh, is that not the cutest little kitty? So here we go. That is how you use your AccuQuilt cutting machine for this um, kitten die. And it is ready to be put into the quilt. So here is another block that I've done. Check the description for the die on the AccuQuilt website.